Amen. Good morning to all and all gathered here, dear students. I welcome you all to participate in the launch of Ever Those Services. It is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for you all to meet Ms. Rachana, Director, Community Development and Internal Learning, who has taken all the initiative to develop the Emotional Wellbeing Program in our campus. I also take the opportunity to welcome Ms. Nisha, our in-campus counselor, and Mr. Saubakya Singh, senior manager, customer success from your those, who have come to give our students the confidence that their emotions can be balanced very well. When our emotional health is in a bad state, so is our level of self-esteem. We have to slow down and deal with what is troubling us so that we can enjoy the simple joy of being happy and at peace with ourselves. More than me, Ms. Rachana is the right person to speak on the topic of emotional well-being and introduce Mr. Saubhagya Singh, Senior Manager, Customer Success Giver Those. I call upon Ms. Rachana to address the gathering. Good morning. Wow. The response. Ma'am told you you have to keep quiet until the program is over. What is this? <laughs> um, okay, well, thank you, Professor Rajeshri, for introducing me and for kicking off this event. And thank you also to your team for organizing everything. And thank you to you all as well for being here. I know you didn't have a choice but it's very nice that you all managed to come and uh, assemble so well like this. Um, so I just want to start by asking you a question, okay? So you can raise your hand if this has also happened to you, okay? So this is a story that I was told when I was growing up, that if you study very hard in school, then you go to a good college. And if you work very hard in college, you'll get a nice job. If you have a nice job, you'll marry a very good person and you'll be able to have children and then you'll be happy. Raise your hand. Has someone told you this before? Anybody? Everybody? Anybody? Oh, lots of people look so Okay, so I want to let you in on a little secret, okay? I don't know why nobody ever tells us this when we're younger. The truth is that that's not entirely true. Like, it may or may not happen if you're lucky that it will happen. Who knows? But the question is, if that's not going to make you happy, doing all of that stuff is not going to make you happy, then what is going to make you happy? Right? So people have actually asked this question and thought about it for centuries. Lots of people have worked on it. Religious scholars have worked on it. Philosophers have worked on it. In psychology, people have worked on it a lot. And there was an interesting piece of research that I found that uh, talked about what is it that actually makes you happy. So they said that about 50% of your mental state, of your how well your mind is doing, 50% has to do with just your genes, your genetic makeup. Like what's going, what you were given at birth, that's about 50%, okay? Then 5%, oh sorry, actually it's 10% of that whole thing is everything that happens in your life. You know, work, marriage, friends, family, everything, all of this stuff, everything that happens to you in your life, you get a new phone, or like you get a job, you get so many different, everything that happens in your life, that contributes to 10% of your happiness or sadness, okay? So what's the rest of the 40%? The rest of the 40% is your own years, habits, the way that you take care of yourself. So at the end of the day, the person that's most responsible for your own happiness is you. So what are we supposed to do if we are supposed to cultivate our own happiness? 
Okay, this is the question we're trying to work on in this new initiative that we're starting at Indian Academy. And the initiative is called Thrive. Okay, Thrive means to grow, to, to be well, to flourish, to bloom. That's what Thrive is all about. So we're going to be working on a number of different initiatives that you'll all get to be part of that helps you to answer this question for yourself. How do I take care of myself? How do I make myself happy? How do I take care of my mind? Yeah, and as part of this initiative, we've got one person that I want to introduce to you. She's sitting at the back very coyly. Um, her name is Miss Nisha Mary George. Yes, thank you. Please welcome her. <laughs> yeah. So, so what Nisha does is that she works in Indian Academy part time. So she's here on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and I think she's in the PU College Wednesday afternoons, right? So she's available to you if you ever want to talk about anything. If you want to talk about how do I look after myself. How do I have better relationships with my friends, with my family, with my teachers? How do I achieve my like true potential? Or if you have any kinds of problems that you just want someone to listen to, uh, listen to you talking for you to process what's going on in your own mind, she's available to you for that. And all you have to do is send her an email and she'll give you a time slot for you to speak to her. So thank you, Nisha, for also being here. Yep. <laughs> And now, one more person that I want to introduce you to is Mr. Saubhagya Singh, okay? Hello. <laughs> so, Saubhagya works at this organization called Your Dost, which is, you know, what you see over here, Your Dost Health Solutions. So what they do is, this organization, it has something like 900 people that you can speak to about anything. So you can talk to them on uh, chat, or you can call them, have a voice call with them, or you can have a video call with them, and they'll be able to help you with a lot of things that you want to figure out in your own mind. Yeah, and I don't want to say too much about this because Sabhagya is going to speak to you next and tell you about a lot of these kinds of things. But I just want to say that this is part of that, that whole initiative. And at the end of the day, all of it is from Indian Academy side, our effort to help you to be the best that you can be. So I encourage you to take advantage of this, like pay attention to what he's saying. It might help you. Um, it might help you to do better in your life and to feel good about yourself better. So thank you so much for your attention. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you all as well about how you feel about all of this. Thank you. <laughs> Hi everyone, good morning. Thank you, thank you so much Rachna. Thank you so much Principal Ma'am for the warm introduction. So before we start this session, you know, uh, we'll do some of the pre-activities so that I can understand all of you, I can understand what do you think about emotional illness, right? So imagine yourselves uh, 20 years down the line, right? This is year 2022, right? Let's talk about year 2042, right? And you're writing your autobiography. So I'm, I hope everybody is clear what an autobiography is, right? When someone writes their own story, that's autobiography. So imagine yourselves 20 years down the line, year 2042, uh, you are sitting in your dream home, you know, or sipping cup of coffee or sitting in some hill station and you are writing your autobiography, right? So what would be the title of your autobiography? So you have 60 seconds to think about it, right? Anybody can raise their hands and tell me that what would be the title of their autobiography, which they want to write 20 years down the line? Yes, please. Ma'am, can we give mic to them?
write on a girl or with dreams or imperfectly a perfect girl. Oh, nice, nice. So one title I got, right? Everybody should clap for her. Right. Anybody else, what would be the title of your autobiography? Somebody from boys, you want to tell? Yes, yes, please. Colorness Rainbow. Wow, great. Probably I want to see that in my bookshelf 20 years down the line, right? Please, anybody else, anybody else from boys, anybody else you? <laughs> the same question was asked to me two years back when I was joining this company, right? So anybody, if you guys want to answer. Yes, please. My dreams of life, great, wonderful, beautiful title. Everybody should clap once, right? So you must be imagining why out of a sudden, a person 9 a.m. in the morning is asking this question in the year 2022, right? So yeah, definitely. So guys, what happens is generally in, in life, sometimes you are confused, right? Between option A, between option B, or option C, or option D, right? So this autobiography title will give you some kind of clarity that what is that legacy which you want to leave behind to this world, right? So probably, you know, take some time over weekend, Saturday, Sunday, or any day when you are free, right? stick it in a place where you see it more often so that you can work on it, right? So now moving forward, it's, uh, it's going to be a very easy question. So tell me four things that makes you happy. Like for me, it will be sleeping all the time, right? Yeah, that, is, that is what I, I will be happy about. But what about you? What are those four things which makes you happy? Friends, right? Somebody said study, who is that guy? Who is getting happy by studying? Sorry? Music, music, okay. Playing games. I, I can't understand. Sports, okay, yeah. So some of the common answers that, you know, sleeping, playing games, or like music, right? Somebody said studying, I don't believe it, but yeah. I'll go forward with it that studying makes happy, right? Uh, so now, you know, why I ask this question is that, you know, I would say that, let's say you draw, draw down the line, right, that these are the four things which makes you happy, right? Write down those things, stick it in a place where you see it more often. That can be anywhere, right? Maybe your workstation or, you know, maybe your wardrobe, maybe your mirror. Now, why, why I'm saying this is that a study behind this says that if you see those activities which makes you happy. The chances of you doing those activity will increase to 20 to 30% over the period of you know, two to three weeks. I'll tell you a very simple analogy behind this uh, you know, research. So you guys are in the college, right? So some of you may carry water bottle while some of you may not, right? So if you see the person who is carrying water bottle will definitely end more water from the person who is not carrying water bottle. Even if, you know, you can go to water cooler or drink the water, anything, but if the person who is holding will definitely drink more water, right? So this was the analogy, right? So moving forward, how many of you have felt stressed in last six months? If you ask me, I'll raise my hand 200 times. <laughs> how many of you have felt stressed la in last six months? Just raise your hands. Oh, oh my, my. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, yeah. So most of you have, right? And it's very normal, right? From past two years, it hasn't been one of those greatest years for us as a humanity, as a community, right? So what do you do when you feel stressed? Like I told I sleep, that is the only thing I do. Play, PUBG. <laughs> Guys, stop playing PUBG anyways, yeah. What else when, do, do you do when you feel stressed? Dance, okay, somebody said dance, yeah. Music, okay. Football, long drive, okay. So maybe one thing I say, traveling wouldn't have been very much in the option, that's why maybe you felt stressed also, right? Because I think lockdown has been one of the 
primary stakeholders with us from past two years. But yeah, there are so many activities which you guys told which, when you do feel stressed, right? So now let me ask you this. Okay, answer one of one by one, right? Don't. Uh, so how many of you know who a counselor is? Just raise your hand. How many of you know who a counselor is? Okay, some of you have raised. Yes or no? Just just raise your hand. Like how many of you know? How many of you ever heard a word counselor? Guys, raise your hand. Rachna just said like five minutes back about counselor. Okay. Can someone help me define who is a counselor? Just if you if you are asked five mark question in the exam, that write who is a counselor, right? You have to define it. How will you define it? Yes, please. A person who can understand you. A person who can understand you. Good, definitely correct. Anybody else who wants to define who a counselor is? Yes, please. Okay. A person who can listen to you one to one, you can share anything you want. You can be free to, free to that and they will answer you. Understood, definitely. That is also a correct line. Yes, you are telling something to me. Who? Who guides us, yeah. That guy in the back, yeah. A person who we can trust and share our problems to them. Okay, yeah, that is also one way of seeing it, right? Anybody else wants to tell who a counselor is? Yes. Who inspire you more in life? Who inspires you more in life? That is also one way of seeing that. Anybody else? Anybody else wants to convey who a counselor is? A counselor is a person who can spend time on you one on one, listen to you, and who can help you in your yes, emotions. Yes, yes, yes. Great. Great answer, guys. Right? This is more or the less you guys have covered who a counselor is, but if I have to define who a counselor is, I would say a person who is trained in human behavior and cognitive sciences, right? They have specially studied psychology just to help humans, right? A person who guides us, who is more empathetic towards us, right? A person who is non-judgmental. Right now, I think most of people, if you tell them, currently we still are facing stigma in India due to mental health, right? So let me tell you about, about myself a bit when Long back, I was doing my engineering. I told my dad one day that, you know, I think I do need to uh, go to a counselor because I wasn't feeling well. I, I used to have anxiety attacks, panic attacks for like four, six, seven months, right? And when I told my dad, the first thing he said that, stop using mobile, right? That was his way of handling uh, an engineering student long back, right? And then I told that I, I already use less mobile. Then he told me another, another solution. He told me, go have a vacation, right? I said, I don't need a vacation. I, I want to see a counselor. He said, he said, one thing he said that, you know, you have to focus properly on studies. This is because of social media. So this is the answers which I got from my father, right? He, and he's a PhD, he's a, he's a professor already, right? Then I realized that this is, this is something which people are still not taking seriously, right? So if you, you guys have basically, you know, uh, defined who a counselor for me is, right? So, when I talk about counseling, what do you think, what is the process? How, how counseling works and how, what is counseling for you? Like somebody said right in back that counseling is a one-on-one process, one -on -one process where a counselor can listen to you, guides you, empathizes you, right? So these are some terms how, how you can understand who a counselor is, right? And it's very important for us to understand because we are, the generation of tomorrow, right? It's, it's with us that we need to promote the culture of emotional wellness, right? That there is something called emotional wellness. How many of you think emotional wellness is important for us or for anyone? Okay. Just that's it. Rest, everybody doesn't think that emotional wellness is important. Why do you think people in India don't go 
and seek counseling. What are the primary reasons why India, people in India don't go and seek counseling? They are not aware, okay? Wonderful answer, right? Somebody said that they are not aware, right? Correct, they are not aware. We are not aware about counseling, right? But what else, what else can be a reason? Somebody said stigma, right? There is definitely a stigma. If I have to tell stigma, then I just told you an example, right? And there is still stigma in India. See, we are fortunate enough that we are in Bangalore, to be very honest. I come from a village there is the, where there is no electricity till now. So they don't care about emotional illness, right? So I'm, that's why I'm telling you that there is an accessibility and availability issue also. See, we are fortunate that we are living in tier one city so we can get access of these services, right? But people back in India, they don't know, most of them are not even aware what counseling is, right? And it's also a costly process, to be honest, right? Uh, in, in, like I told you, in Metro City, you still will be able to find a counselor, right? But that costs you a lot, right? If, when it comes to a follow-up session after one-on-one, one-on-one, -on -one, one -on -one, that, that will be a costly process, right? So these are some factors why in people in India don't want to seek support, right? Now, let me tell you a bit about my organization, about, right? So as everybody, as ma'am and Rachna told that I am Sobhagi, I work as a customer, senior manager in customer success team for Yodos, right? So long back in, I think in 2012 or 2013, when our co-founder, Ms. Richa Singh, was studying in IIT Guwahati during her engineering days, uh, one of her friends died by suicide, right? Uh, because she anticipated that she might not get good placements even before the companies started coming into the campus, right? And at that time, there were counselors, psychiatrists, everybody was present in the campus. But her friend didn't sought support because she thought what people would say. Log kya bolenge? Right? What will people say? So this is how the concept of your dost was conceptualized, right? Your dost is a technology platform combined with psychology such that these services, counseling services are free for you literally at fingertips. I am very thankful to the Indian Academy uh, board, right, that they have given us opportunity to work with you all, right? And these services won't cost you anything. The, all the commercial will be, you know, taken care by your college, right? So let me present my screen. I would re request you to give me attention for next 15 minutes. Right? I, I understand that morning 9.30 a.m. I never used to attend my classes at that time, to be very honest. Right, but I want you to understand so that you don't become like me, right? <laughs> Ma'am, can you please? Your dost, right? I, I hope I, so your dost means your friend, right? So, ma'am, just one slide down. Yeah, as I mentioned, right, your dost is a technology platform combined with psychology, right? It's a psychology with technology, right? Ma'am, moving, move forward, ma'am. So at your dost, I think we have over 900 plus experts, right? Uh, the gentleman in the left, Dr. Jini K. Gopinath, is our chief psychology officer, who is also ex-performance coach for Team Mumbai Indians, right? Apart from Dr. Jini, we have more than 900 experts, which has psychologists, clinical psychologists, career coaches, life coaches, you know, and every psychotherapist, right? So these are some type of people who are available on the platform. These experts work with us throughout the country, right? So it can be in any language. So we at Yodos believe that emotions are expressed best in your own language, right? So it can be in any language, whichever language you prefer. So at Yodos, how Yodos is different, right? As I mentioned, Yodos offers you 24-7 support and 365 days. Whether it is a Republic Day, Independence Day, Diwali, Holi, Yodos will be there with you, right? So your dost offers 24 into 7. Apart from that, it's a technology platform, so it offers security to you, right? As somebody was mentioning a few times, that one-on-one -on -one counseling session, that is what counseling is. Yeah, definitely. That you can have, right, through, through technology, right? You can be anonymous throughout your journey at your dost. You need not to tell who you are, right? I'll tell you how, just in later slides how to log in and how will we identify, right? But you can be anonymous. You don't need to tell us your name. You don't need to tell us anything. You just have to come to the platform, discuss what you want to discuss, and you can move, right? 
so through your those what you get as i mentioned right it's a text based session also you can have right you can like you guys use whatsapp right so why don't you use whatsapp for your own profit discuss your issues with someone who you think can help you right so it's a t you can have a text based session you can also take an audio session you can also take a video session right so it depends totally upon you we all we 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 started as a chat session when the, when we realized that sometimes people want to speak you know as soon as possible right they want to convey their message through call or video call right so that's how text audio and video also came right so we have uh, text audio video apart from these right i think in few days you'll also start receive communications from our end right after the launch also you'll receive then you, it will be there that how you know how you have to log in onto the platform but apart from that we'll also share some self help content with you on weekly basis so that you are so that we can also help you from content if you don't want to come to the platform right man so this is how our home page looks like website address is very easy www.yodos.com right this is how yodos.com page help pa front page looks like ma'am second page ma'am one more so now here's the twist right so guys i told you that you can mention your name you don't have to mention your name while coming to yodos right but for the first time whenever you are coming to the platform you need to log in from your official indian academy email id right so that we can identify you as that you are indian academy student because for your dost is a public url right anybody in the world can use that but for us to understand that you come from indian academy you need to use your official email id just for the first time push that it won't ask you to enter your email id again right so in terms of username ma'am just so in terms of username so that username you just have to click sign up username can be anything superman batman pubg anything right whatever you want to choose your username that can be anything and a password of your own choice right that username has to be unique so that every, every system has to take a unique username so you can choose any username based on your comfort level of comfort and your password right so once you have logged into the platform you can start chatting with the expert right so i think once you have logged into www.yodos.com you just need to press the experts button you can see all the experts either if you want to take you can book an audio or video or you can also start chatting instantly with the expert right as i mentioned to you again yodos is 24 into 7 so if in 3 am in the night if you're not able to sleep sometime then probably you should visit yodos right if 5 in the morning you are not able to build your schedule then you should talk to someone right if you if you are really want to build your schedule right and to be just so to clarify just so that i can clarify counseling doesn't mean that you need to have some sort of disorder it doesn't mean that it can be as simple as improving yourself right i used to take counseling session last year for anger management right so it can be anything it can be self improvement it can be career academics it can be relationships right and it can be any type of relationship right with your family with your teachers romantic relationships anything which you want to discuss right you can also <coughs> sorry you can also discuss it with your career coaches that how you want to shape your career right so counseling doesn't need to you need not to have a problem to seek support you just can seek support for your self improvement also right one more slide so this is how our experts page look like right so if you see in the left noreen choudhury right so there is a one green signal coming in her profile right that means she is currently online and she is immediately available to take the session take take the chat session right if you see jaydev right jaydev has orange dot that means currently jaydev is online but he is having another session with someone right now if you see anuradha anuradha doesn't have any signal that means he she is not online now but you can always book an appointment or message like there is two options right and for everyone not for just anuradha for noreen also and for jaydev also either you can message them either you can book appointment and for noreen you can also have an instant chat session right so once you click on book appointment it will ask you that which type of session you want to have either chat or audio or video right so it totally depends upon you that which type of session you want to take right 
So once you have, uh, Madhav, you have chosen any option, post that. Post that, it will send you a confirmation that your appointment has been booked. You'll also receive a message once you have taken audio appointment and an email, right? So apart from platform, we also have your Dost app, right? You can al always log into your Dost app. You, it is available on the Play Store and I think at the Mac Store also. So you can always log in from your, your official email ID, then pick your username and the same process, right? So two things which I want to stress more is, first is anonymity, right? No one will know your name if you don't want to. <coughs> Even the counselor, right? Let's say that you're having a session with the counselor. The counselor will not know your name until you tell them. You have to tell them your name to for knowing them, right? If you tell that your name is PUBG, then they'll know you from PUBG only, right? They won't ask you what's your name. That's what name which you can have, right? So, I, because I, I believe that this is why, why we have this is because we believe that people don't want to tell their identity sometimes, right? And it's very important to respect that that they don't want to tell, right? They want to discuss their problems. So one is anonymity and another is that it's totally technology-based platform, guys. So you need not to worry that, that you know, how can I share something in on technology or platform or data, right? I think these are some type of questions which we keep ask, which we students keep asking us, right? But that we can assure you, right, that that won't, that we won't breach that. There is only one case when we breach the confidentiality, right? And for you, it's very important to know that when we have marked someone as a red flag case, right? When someone is suicidal or homicidal or someone needs psychiatric intervention. Because at that time, life is at stake, right? That time, anonymity, that time life matters more to anonymity. So at that time, we as a community should help that person. So that there will be only one person who will be knowing from your organization. So you need not to worry. Nobody, not everybody will know. Someone from the administration, only one person will know, right? That's how we uh, deal with those cases. But yeah, that's the only one place where we breach confidentiality. After I'm gone right now today, if you have some issues anytime, you know, if you have some queries or if you're facing some issues, you can always write to us at campus at yodos.com. That is the email ID. C A M P U S at yodos.com. Or you can always personally write to me. I'll be happy to assist you, right? You can expect my mails to get back to you in half an hour anytime. Sobhagi at yodos.com, right? Now, I am done from my session. This is what I wanted to cover. If you guys have any doubts, feel, please feel free to ask me so that I can clear your doubts, right? Anybody has any doubts over the platform or anything else you want to ask? Anyone, any kind of question, it's fine. You can ask me. <coughs> Everybody is clear, mother, everyone is clear of what I told for more than half an hour. How can be that much concentration span for you? Even in sometimes during I, my meetings, I still half an after half an hour, I don't understand what people are talking. Anybody has any doubts? Anything you want me to clear? There's one more, I think one of the, I'll just tell you one of, one of the frequent doubts which people keep asking me that how many sessions I can take, right? So there is no cap on your sessions, right? You can take as much as you want, but we recommend that you only take session when you mutually decide with, decide with your counselor that you know when is the next session required. Because guys, it's not a fun website to be very honest, right? So you need your counselor and you will decide some mutual timing, mutual date that, and she or he will tell you that if you require another session or not, right? She or he will also give you some homeworks to do so that you are improving, right? It's a two way street. Don't think that counselor will come and just make your life good. Right? You need to work from yourself also. When they tell something, you need to do that, right? So this is, you can take as many sessions you want, but we recommend that, right? 
Now in terms of changing counselor on the platform, that can I change the counselor or can I seek support from another counselor while I took another counselor last time? You can always change, right? You can always change. It depends on you which counselor you want to deal with. But we recommend you to continue with the same counselor for some time because he or she might be aware of your history properly, right? It's very difficult again to build a repo with them, right? So that is it. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for listening to me. You guys have been wonderful audience. Thank you. After the speeches by our dignitaries, I tend to ward off some of the unfulfilled ambitions in my life that kept me haunting. And also, I regret that your dost was not there when I was a student several years back. Um, for our students, I believe it's a day of bonanza for having all these opportunities to balance your emotions. I think we all have a dark side if you are truly honest with ourselves. If we don't acknowledge it, then it is just a predator waiting in the darkest moments. From now, on, on, or now onwards, we have your dost team and our emotional well-being team to help you overcome our emotional imbalances. I thank Ms. Rachna, the Director, Community Development and Internal Learning, our Principal, Ms. Nisha, our Counselor, and Mr. Saubhagya Singh, the Senior Manager, Customer Success of your Dost. I also thank our Technical Support Team, our Teaching and Non-Teaching Staff, and also thank our students. Thank you very much. Students kindly stand as our dignitaries leave. So students can be seated. I thank all our students for making their presence in our auditorium. Dear students, we have a wonderful opportunity to see changes in our life in the form of balancing our emotions. I call upon our principal to welcome our dignitaries, Ms. Rachna, Director, Community Development and Internal Learning, Ms. Nisha, our Counselor, and Mr. Saubhagya Singh, 
the senior manager customer success of your those team good morning manandal gathered here dear students i welcome you all to participate in the launch of your those services it is a wonderful opportunity for me to welcome ms rachana director community development and internal learning who has taken all the initiative to develop the emotional well being program in our campus i also take the opportunity to welcome ms nisha our in campus counselor and mr saubhagya singh senior manager customer success of your those who have come to give our students the confidence that their emotions can be balanced very well when our emotional health is in a bad state so is our of self esteem we have to slow down and deal with what is troubling us so that we can enjoy the simple joy of being happy and at peace with ourselves more than me ms rachana is the right person to speak out on the topic of emotional well being and introduce mr saubhagya singh senior manager customer success i call upon ms rachana to address the gathering please ma'am good morning thank you ma'am for introducing and organizing this event um and thank you to all of you for being here um i i know you didn't have a choice but at at least you get to skip a class to come attend this session yeah <laughs> it's better than sitting in your classroom okay hopefully you'll find it interesting and enriching um so i want to start okay by asking you a question um So this is this is a story that I have been told when I was growing up. So I want to check if any of you have been told the same story, okay? So the story is that while you're in school, if you study very hard, you can get into a good college. And if you work very hard in college, you'll get a nice job. And if you have a nice job, you'll get a nice husband or wife. and then you'll be able to have kids and once you have kids and a good house and a nice family you'll be happy then you don't have to worry everything will be taken care of have have any of you been told this story Let me raise your hand yeah everyone many people many people have been told this story. okay good so you're all like me so since going through school and college and job and all of that i have to tell you a secret um the secret is that that's actually not entirely true like maybe it will help you to get a nice job at least you won't have to worry about money and maybe it will be nice to find a partner but at the end of the day those things are not going to make you they're not going to guarantee your happiness So so the question is what is it that's actually going to make you happy like how do humans find happiness or wellness so yeah there are lots of somebody said money some people said what else did you say what else are you guys saying their interests yeah so there are lots of different kinds of ways to answer that question what makes you happy and in fact people have been wondering about this question for years and years centuries even you know there have been philosophers religious scholars all kinds of people that have been like psychologists so many people who have been thinking about this question what is it that ensures that you are happy or at least mostly okay So one interesting piece of research that I found because I also asked this question after I realized that you know getting a nice job is not the end of the story I I was asking this question and of course I asked Google 
and I, I stumbled upon an interesting piece of research. So people have been um, thinking about what is it that determines your, you know, emotional well-being or your psychological well-being? So they said in this study that 50% of it is determined by your genes, whatever you were born with, your initial whatever material that you have, that's what determines your uh, happiness or state of well-being, half. Then the other 10% is everything that happens to you in your life. Like if you get a new phone, you'll be happy for a while. If you lose your pet, then you'll be sad for a while. You know, if you get good marks in an exam, maybe you'll be happy. If you fail, you'll be very upset. Those kinds of things. Everything that happens to you in your life accounts for 10% of your happiness this way, that way. Okay? So the other 40% is your attitudes, your behavior, your habits, the way you think about things. So 40% of it, the thing that's most in your control is, uh, so, sorry, what I mean to say is 40% is up to you. So you get to decide how happy or sad, how well or unwell you are, that's all up to you. So, so the next question is, how do, we, um, how do we take care of ourselves? How do we work on that 40%? What do we do? And this is a question that we are trying to answer through this new initiative that we are starting for all of you that's called Thrive, okay? And it's an emotional well-being program. What that means is it's a set of different kinds of initiatives that can help you to understand how can I make myself happier? How can I make myself uh, feel good about myself? How can I have better relationships with my friends, with my family, with people that I care about, with my teachers? How can I achieve my true potential? All of these kinds of things are things we'll be able to work on through this new initiative that we are starting. So there are a few things that are part of this that we're going to kick off this initiative with. So one thing that I want to, that is, um, I want to introduce you to someone who's here with us right now. So her name is Nisha. She's there in the back. Hello, Nisha. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> so Nisha is here as her official title is her official title is student counselor, okay? So some of you might have been sent to her, but she's also available to you on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I think Wednesday afternoons over here. So you can email her and you can ask to speak to her and you can speak to her about anything, like all of these kinds of questions. How do I improve my relationships? How do I concentrate better? Any kind of issue that you have, she's available to you for you to speak to her and for, for even if you want to share some problems that you have or some issues that you're struggling with, she's there for you to do that. Okay, so she's here on Wednesday afternoons and you can schedule a meeting with her if you want. And now I want to introduce you to another person who's here with us. That's Mr. Salvagya Singh. So he's over here, yes. Welcome to you, sir. <laughs> so he works for an organization that's called Your Dost, okay? So that's what you see over here, Your Dost. Now, Your Dost is an organization that offers support to students for any kind of issues that they might have. Now, I don't want to go into too many details about this because I'm going to hand over to him soon. But basically, we have formed a really nice partnership with Your Dost, and we thank them for being here. So what we're going to do to offer to you is that Your Dost is a platform where you can go and speak to more than anyone from more than 900 people you have options to choose from. So you can chat with them or you can video call them or you can call them on the phone and they'll be able to help you with any kind of emotional issues that you might have or to even help you to be a better version of yourself. So I don't want to say any more. I just want to hand over to Mr. Sabhagya Singh 
Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoy the presentation. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Rachna, for the warm introduction. Thank you, Principal Ma'am. So, before I start speaking about your dost, right, uh, we'll do some of the activities so that we, I can know you all, you can know me, right? So, <clears throat> which year is this? 2022, right? So, imagine yourselves 20 years down the line, right? Uh, imagine in the year 2042, right? And you are sitting in your dream home which you have built right, sipping a cup of coffee and you are right, you are starting to write your autobiography, right. I hope everybody is aware of what autobiography is when we write our own story, right. So what would be the title of your autobiography? Let's say that you are writing your autobiography. What would be the title of your autobiography? One by one, I can, the, it will be good if you guys tell, right. Sir has mic, if somebody wants to use mic. Anybody wants to share the title of their autobiography? So, yeah, please. Zindagi. So, somebody shared Zindagi. Right, life. Very beautiful title, I must appreciate. We should give it a clap for them, Kai, right? So yeah, I used to do this when I was in college to my friends, you know, shouting at him, right? Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. So anybody else wants to share? Yes. Failures are my success. Failures are my success. Yeah, I want to see this book on my bookshelf. Thank you so much for the wonderful title. <laughs> Failures of my success, right? Very motivating title. Anybody else from girls, anybody wants to share their autobiography title? Yes, please. Seeking. Seeking, yeah. Wonderful, seeking, very good. Yes, yes, yes. Success is not the destination, it is a journey. Wow, success is not the destination, it is a journey, right? Thank you, thank you so much guys. Thank you so much for <coughs> sharing these beautiful titles, right? I would love to see these books on my bookshelf, right? Probably 20 years down the line. So, I, I, you might be wondering why this guy in 10.30 in the morning is asking us to write autobiography, right? So, yeah. So, there is a reason behind I asked you to do this activity, right? So, in life, we are confused sometimes, right? Between option A, option B, C, D or many more, right? This autobiography title will give you some kind of clarity that what is the legacy you want to leave behind, right? So, I'll recommend you, you know, to take over some time on the weekend or Saturday, Sunday, whenever you are free, right? Write this title on a piece of paper. Maybe 60 seconds here wasn't enough to understand what you want to write about life, right? And stick it in a place where it is more visible so that <coughs> it helps you, right? So now moving forward, I promise this is a very easy question. So what are those four activities which makes you happy? Like if you ask me, I'll sleep all the time, right? No, I, I'm a very sleepy person, right? So it makes me happy. What are those four activities which makes you happy? Guys, don't answer PUBG. Last batch answer PUBG, madam wasn't happy very much, principal ma'am. So don't tell <laughs> that PUBG is the things which makes you like. Traveling, okay. One answer I got traveling. Maybe that isn't much, that wasn't much possible in the last two years, right, due to COVID. I understand. Football, okay. Music, okay. Cycling, somebody said, right. Dancing. Okay, I got it, I got it. Dancing. What? Cricket, okay, yeah. Sir. So, Satisfaction of food. <laughs> Satisfaction of food. Okay, yeah, that is wonderful answer, right? Food. So, how many of you, how, how many, out of all, how many of you like food? Yeah, right, see, you guys like food, right? See, this is a very basic thing, right? We like food. 
so like i like to drink water right i i really like drinking water right so now ag again you know why did i ask this question right i as rachna mentioned that you guys at least got to skip one class right i used to go for all these such type of orientation when i was in college so that i have to skip one class so that i don't have to study right <laughs> nobody said study this time last time somebody said study makes them happy right and that's a very good thing that that makes them happy right so now why did i ask this right it's very important to understand that see there is a research which says that if you write these things on a piece of paper right and stick it where you see it more often it can be anywhere your wardrobe your mirror right your workstation or a place where you go more often right where you hold keys right we go and take the keys right the chances of you ending up doing these activity will increase to 20 to 30% over the period of 2 to 3 weeks right i'll give you a very simple analogy behind this research also since you guys are here most of you uh, would have been carrying water bottle in your classrooms right and some of you won't right so if you if you notice that person who is carrying water bottle will always end up drinking more water compared to the person who is not carrying a water bottle right even we have facilities of water cooler and everything in the college right but person who is carrying their own water bottle will always drink more right so do this activity sometime right write those things which makes you happy stick it in a place so that you do it more so that you are more happy right now a general question that how many of you have felt stressed in last 6 months like if you ask me i'll raise my hand 200 times how many of you have felt stressed in last 6 months okay rachna has raised her hand what else how many else oh okay most of you have felt stressed in last 6 months right okay what are your go to activities when you feel stressed like i do told you i sleep so there is no other way biscuit is sleep okay they also sleep what about you guys or what about more people song okay songs yeah watching movies yeah okay now movies is also taken over oh there are people who go to gym also okay how how do you go to gym i will come to you okay yeah i i am trying so i am not able to go yeah ktm okay yeah there are people did you guys cross 18 age 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 okay yeah jogging okay somebody jogs somebody rides bike music dance what else what are your go to activities when you felt stressed breathing okay reading books okay yeah i also breathe yoga okay yeah this is some very creative answers i got right yoga dance music yes yes please conference call with friends Oh, con yeah, conference calling friends, yeah, yeah, good, very good. Yeah, I also do that. My co friends are very far, right? So, so these are some creative answers I got. That these are some go-to activities which we do when we feel stress. You know why we do these activities, right? Because it makes us happy, right? Simple answer, right? The, we do these activities because it will make us, you know, feel less stressed. So, do you think that? it helps you remove your stress completely or it's just a temporary solution <laughs> good temporary solution right now how many of you know or heard about counselor heard just raise your hands how many of you have heard a word counselor <laughs> guys don't discuss it's non negotiable <laughs> don't discuss if you haven't heard just yes or no yeah so let's assume that there is some question in your question paper where you have been asked define counselor five mark question okay it's, it it will right so how will you define counselor just one by one let's listen to everyone right whoever wants to say that if you want to define counselor how will you define counselor anybody wants to help me define counselor 
taking person who advises okay nice sharing a secret okay hello so uh, counselor the person who have better understanding about human emotions and if you are in some problem they give us the tips to overcome good problem. beautiful answer beautiful answer right very beautiful answer right so what else what do you think who a counselor is that guy scores at least 4 out of 5 definitely 5 out of 5 nobody gives to anyone <laughs> motivated okay somebody who makes you feel motivated okay understands us right right if now let let's define counselor okay one point that uh, you know that a counselor is a person who is trained in human behavior right and in cognitive sciences he or she is designated to do this right when you go to a doctor let's say that you go to a neurologist he or she is designated to deal with brains right like the way psychologists and counselors have same importance in our life okay person who is trained in human behavior and cognitive sciences person who guides us who empathizes with us right who is non judgmental you say anything he or she won't judge you right so this is more or less how we define a counselor right now how many of you have been to a counselor okay some of you some of you right correct so when i asked you guys that how many of you have felt stressed most of you raised your hands right uh, when i asked you guys how many of you know who about a counseling is most of you said yes right and uh, when i asked you how many of you have been to a counselor i merely heard yes a few yes right so when you are sick right you go to a doctor right when when i am sick i definitely i, I visit a doctor right but why don't i go when i am no, i am emotionally not well to a counselor right when you are having a fever will you go to a doctor or not or if you are having fever constantly for 7 8 days you'll go right you visit at least you visit a clinic right but when have we we are feeling stress from past 6 months or we felt stressed in past 6 months or we keep feeling those stress why don't we visit a counselor can anybody tell me why why do we do is right in west it is very common to be very honest right in in some of the countries this is very common visiting to a therapist or a counselor but why do you think in india people don't visit or go pay a visit to a counselor when they are feeling stressed anxious or anything what can be the reasons yeah let's listen one by one this person is telling something yeah because we don't like to share our personal things okay yes person is there yeah check it's because we don't have the awareness that uh, we are okay to share our emotions to a person who's well equipped with these kind of things great and great answer moreover, great answer and moreover when we do so uh, we don't uh, feel more secure about ourselves we feel more insecure and battle to depression and anxiety wonderful answer right wonderful answer but we are not aware right we we are not aware that what counseling is or do we think any anything can be done when i'm feeling stressed so back when i was doing engineering right uh, one day i decided that i have to visit to a counselor but i was not able to sleep for long time and you know having stress so i told my dad that you know i think i should go and seek a support right so he told me stop using mobile phone everything would be fine next answer he had that you go for a vacation everything would be fine so he had number of answers but nothing of them said that okay you go talk to a therapist right and then and my dad is a professor he is a phd so i realized that people who are educated are also not much aware they don't know that i should go to a counselor or now he understands well because now i am working here right so but that's the thing right there is no awareness right so at least we are lucky that when we are in a city bangalore right so we are aware that how what mental health looks like how you know how counseling is taken right but how about people who are living in rural india i come from a village where is there is still no electricity do you think they will ever <laughs> prioritize emotional wellness for them electricity is more important right now right but that's the thing it's just more than half million villages in india don't even know what a counseling is right they don't they are not they don't even understand what mental health is right 
but we are fortunate and we as hum future generations we should take a pledge that we will make people aware about how mental health works and what is emotional wellness right so awareness is one thing second thing is also availability and accessibility right let's say that you want to speak to someone at 3 am in the night you are not able to sleep do you know where to go anyone ha huh? terrace good <laughs> that is the answer i was expecting <laughs> i also go to terrace sometimes but yeah terrace yeah you don't know but which person to talk right you don't know where to find a counselor at 3 am in the night or a psychologist at 3 am in the night right it is also a costly process to be very honest it it is counseling is expensive right any anything else is any you know anybody tell tell things that you know there is some reason why people don't go to a counseling we didn't talk talk about stigma that what will people think log kya bolenge if i go to a counselor yes please yes i understand definitely they don't find you know person they can confront everything right it is not secure somebody also mentioned that we don't file and find it secure but let me assure you i have been in this profession i am not a counselor but i have been working with counselors psychologists more than one and half years and i think these people are the ones who have gained my trust more than ever in this entire planet right they are amazing all the counselors psychologists or these guys right they have gained so much of my trust because i was very much you know uncomfortable going going to them very much uncomfortable but some one of my friend you know encouraged me that you should and it changed my life it really changed my life right so i'm very grateful for them but definitely there are this type of reasons that people are not you know comfortable sharing their personal things with them because that is what stigma is all about right that what will people say or how can i trust someone right so now thank you so much for being interactive with me thank you so much you know i am sobhag i work as a senior manager in your dost right we are also in bangalore in hsr layout right so let me tell you a little story about my organization our co-founder ms richa singh uh, back in 2012 she was doing her engineering from it guwahati right and one of her friends died by suicide Uh, because she anticipated that she might not get good placements even before the companies actually started coming in they had counselors psychotherapists psychiatrists everything in their campus at that time but she didn't pay a visit to them because she anticipated what people will think you know and uh, how can i even go to a counselor that incident actually you know um, made richa conceptualize your dost right so your dost is a technology platform combined with psychology such that these services are available to you free of cost right your college is taking care of the commercial so you need not to worry about it and i thank the indian academy college for being one of the you know those colleges who actually care about your mental well being right you guys are lucky i studied in a government school where nobody cared about mental health to be very honest all they would care about is your my marks right so it's good that you got to skip a class but it's not just so that we can have fun right it's where we want to talk so i want to thank your college right that they actually care about your mental well being right so now allow me 15 minutes i'll present my screen post that i think you have to go back to start attending your classes again for today right yeah yeah so your dost right easy name to remember your dost means your friend right so as i mentioned right your dost is a emotional technology platform what we call is india's second largest emotional wellness support framework right so your dost is a technology platform right it's a technology platform you can access it through web or app combined with psychology right so that counseling services and emotional wellness services are made free to you right so that you can use them so now how your those functions so we have over 900 plus experts on our platform like i think rashna also mentioned right that you have 900 people so these these experts are 
psychologists, clinical psychologists, life coaches, career coaches, psychotherapists, right? The gentleman in the left, Dr. Jinike Gopinath, he's our chief psychology officer who was also ex-performance coach for Mumbai Indians IPL team, right? Apart from Dr. Jinni, as I mentioned, we have over 900 plus experts, so you can talk to them, any of them, right? Whenever you feel like talking to them. So now, how your dost is different, right? So like I mentioned one thing, right, that you don't know where, so 3 a.m. you need not to go to terrace now. Either you can go with your mobile or your laptop, right? We'll be there. That's how 24-7 support what we offer, right? That even if it's a Diwali or Independence Day or let's say Republic Day or anything, right? We will be there 24 into 365. You need not to worry where to go at 3, 3 a.m. if you don't feel like doing anything or you feel like talking to someone. Apart from 24-7 support, technology is a very big factor, guys, these days, right? It offers you scalability, right? That your data will be secure with us, right? So you need not to worry that how can I share my data with someone or how can I talk to someone who is on the other side, right? So apart from technology, one more thing which is very important is anonymous, right? We are completely anonymous. So you, wa you can come to us without telling your name, without telling who you are, without telling which college are you from, right? And we will give you support. So you need not to reveal your identity to us. And if you don't reveal your identity to your counselor, they won't also know your name until you tell that, okay, I am Sabhagya, right? Until I tell them, then they'll know. But if I don't tell them, they won't know, right? Ma'am. So how your those function is? That one way is that you can take a chat session. Like we, we do WhatsApping whole day with our friends, right? <laughs> and I think we have increased that more in last one and one and a half years since the pandemic because we have been able to use mobile phones or gadgets, right? So either you can have a text-based counseling, either you can also have an audio, right? You can call or they will call you once you book a session with them. Or you can also have a video session. Right. So these are the three type of sessions you can have. Apart from that, we'll also, on a weekly basis, we'll also keep sharing our content with you. Once this launch is done, we'll share a mailer where it will be shown that how you can log in. Although you can log in now also, but just so that you also have it with you, right? Apart from that, we'll keep sharing self-help content, which can, so people who don't want to come to platform, they can read the content and beware of what, you know, what's good for them or what's, what they decide is good for them, right? So this is how your dost homepage looks like. If you type www.yourdost.com, this is how the homepage will come, right? One more. One more up. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, this one. So how now the main thing is how will you log into the platform, right? So once you log into the platform, I think this slide before this, there is one login button, right? On the left corner. So once you press that, it will come sign up now, right? So you need to press one username. That is unique username. You can have anything. Superman, Batman, Supergirl, Wonder Woman, anything. What you want to like, right? Or some people was telling PUBG, so you can write PUBG 2436 and that will have a, if it is unique username because so many people have played PUBG now, right? Huh? Huh, whatever you like, you can write it there, right? Once you have decided your username, you have to write your password. That also depends on you, which kind of passwords you want to set. While once for the first time when you're coming on the platform, you need to log in from official Indian Academy email ID. So now that's because your dost is a public URL guys, right? Anybody in the world can access your dost. For us to know that you are an Indian Academy user, that is one mechanism of knowing to us, right? So once you, mentioned your email ID, we'll send you a verification mail on your email ID, and that's it. Only one time you have to mention your email so that we can whitelist you as an Indian Academy user, post which you need not to tell your email ID, you will be always known from your username, so that's how it functions. One more now. So once, once you have, you know, logged in on the platform, so you'll have two, three options. One is that you go to experts page, now, once you go to the experts page, this slide will come, right? Now either you can chat, instant chat, either you can book an appointment or you can book 
audio or video, right? Appointment means audio or video, right? So if you see, Noreen Chaudhary has green symbol in the left, right? That green signal means that she is currently online and is immediately available to take the session, right? If you see Jaydev, he has a yellow signal. That means Jaydev is online, but he is currently busy with some other session. And when you see Anuradha, she doesn't have any sub signal, right? That means she's not online, so she won't be able to take a session right now. So now, with any expert, you can always, let's say if the person is online, you can take immediate chat as, as soon as possible, right? You just have to press the chat button and you'll be able to access the services. For book an appointment, you just need to press appointment. Once uh, we have, you have pressed appointment, it will come like this, right? So either you can choose voice call or a video call, right? Once you choose voice or video, you'll receive a message of confirmation on your mobile, on your email also, that your appointment is booked on this, this date, right? So this is how these book appointment functions work. Apart from that, you can always explore your those website, right? It has self-content tools where you'll also have some of the tests where you can measure your personality or your stress levels or your anxiety levels, right? So this is what your those website, how it looks like. Apart from, you know, um, having this sessions, appointments, you can always check your those app, right? You need not to always log in from the web browser. You can always log in through app. So it's available on Google Play Store and Apple Store, right? So you will be able to use the services. Do you think such type of platforms will be helpful for us in a future or now? you think? Okay. It's not important to tell me yes because I'm here. It's fine. Just tell me your personal perception. How, how do you take it? Okay. So this is what I wanted to cover for your dost, right? Now, I would like to thank everybody here present, right? Thank you so much for listening me with this much patience. When I'm once I'm gone from here, you can always write to us at campus at yodos.com, which is the email ID for us. C A M P U S at yodos.com. You can always personally write to me at sabhagi at yodos.com. So I'll be happy to assist you personally, right? You can expect my mails to get your reply in half an hour. So you can always write to us. Now, if you have any questions from me, I'll be happy to answer regarding platform or regarding anything. If somebody has any kind of question. Nobody has any question? No? How can you guys listen to me so peacefully more than 30 minutes? Huh? That is not even my concentration level till now. Free class. Free class. Okay. Yeah, yeah, understood. <laughs> Sorry? Okay. That's good actually if your concentration span is high, right? It's, it's not some, it's, you should be proud of yourself that you can here to anyone who is speaking 30 minutes. I can hardly listen to anyone for 10, 12 minutes, right? So yeah, I think some of the, f you know, frequently asked questions which I got uh, about the platform that, you know, how many sessions we can take. So there's no cap on how many sessions you guys can take, but we recommend that you only decide it with your counselor that when your next session is, right? So it's very understand to give time to ourselves and time to the process of counseling. So let's say that you took a session today. Now you're not feeling good tomorrow. You came again and then again every day, right? That won't help you to be very honest because your counselor will also give you something to do, right? So that you can improve and don't, don't always think that, you know, counseling is just for some disorder or some sort of disorder. Counseling can be anything. 
as simple as anger management. I just had six months ago. So it's not important to have something to take counseling. Don't wait so that, okay, let me hap let something happen, then I'll go to a counselor. If you're not feeling well, it's completely fine, right? You need not to wait for wrong to happen so that you now you can go to doctor, right? We don't wait for heart attack, right? If I'm not feeling good, I'll go to doctor. I won't wait that, okay, let heart attack come, then I'll go to have a surgery, right? So don't wait for wrong to happen. You can always work on yourself. We are humans, we are not perfect. Nobody in this world is perfect, right? And we can always thrive to be better, right? Be a better version of ourselves, right? So you decide it with the counselor when is the next mutual date, when can you have a session, right? And your counselor will tell you even if you require a session or not, it's not, it, they won't tell you, they won't ask you to keep coming back and back for one or two years, right? There will be time when your therapy will be over, right? So there is no cap, but we recommend you discuss these things with your counselor. Now, one thing is that can you ch can we change our counselor in between? You can change counselor, right? You can you can take session with anyone on the platform, but we recommend you to continue with the same counselor for at least one time because she or he will be aware of your history. You won't be otherwise you have to again tell it to the counselor or share your history. Then they'll take time to understand. So we recommend that you continue with the same counselor for the best results you get can get, right? So thank you so much for listening to me. Some people are also trying to sleep there, but it's fine. I used to do the same. So, but yeah, thank you so much for listening to me. I'm very thankful to be here today, right? It has been my honor. Uh, you can always reach to us. We'll be happily available to assist you. Thank you so much, everyone. When I was a student, uh, if we displayed any emotional imbalances, our parents would think that there was an evil spell cast on us. Then they would take us to some pundit to discard any evil spell. But today we have research-based knowledge, internet and technology. For our students, it's a day of bonanza for having all these opportunities to balance your emotions. Everyone should be happy that we have something worthwhile on the internet to develop our emotions. I think we all have a darker side if we are truly honest with ourselves. If we don't acknowledge it, then it's just a predator waiting in the darkest moments. From now on, we have your those team for you and our emotional well-being team to help you overcome our emotional imbalances. I thank Ms. Rachna, the Director, Community Development and Internal Learning, our principal, Ms. Nisha, our counselor, and Mr. Saubhagya Singh, the senior manager, customer success of your dost. I also thank our technical support team, our teaching and non-teaching staff, and also I thank our students. Thank you very much. I request all the students to stand as the dignitaries leave the auditorium. Students can be seated now.
was lucky. I found what I loved to do early in life. Waz and I started Apple in my parents' garage when I was 20. We worked hard, and in 10 years, Apple had grown from just the two of us in a garage into a $2 billion company with over 4,000 employees. We just released our finest creation, the Macintosh, a year earlier, and I just turned 30. And then I got fired. How can you get fired from a company you started? What had been the focus of my entire adult life was gone, and it was devastating. I really didn't know what to do for a few months. I felt that I had let the previous generation of entrepreneurs down. I was a very public failure, and I even thought about running away from the valley. But something slowly began to dawn on me. I still loved what I did. We are going to make it or break it based on whether we can provide products to higher education and services and relationships to higher education that no one else provides. And I think we ought to spend 100% of our time thinking about that. And if we can't do that, then we ought to go broke. And so I decided to start over. I didn't see it then, but it turned out that getting fired from Apple was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. The heaviness of being successful was replaced by the lightness of being a beginner again, less sure about everything. It freed me to enter one of the most creative periods of my life. During the next five years, I started a company named Next, another company named Pixar, and fell in love with an amazing woman who would become my wife. I'm pretty sure none of this would have happened if I hadn't been fired from Apple. It was awful tasting medicine, but I guess the patient needed it. Sometimes life's gonna hit you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did. You've got to find what you love, and that is as true for work as it is for your lovers. Your work is gonna fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. So keep looking, don't settle.